Hello guys and welcome to another video and today I am filming a monthly favourite of November as it is December like I can't actually believe how quickly this month has gone it's absolutely well the last few months it's absolutely crazy like I can't actually believe it um, it's not it's nearly my birthday it's be my birthday now Woo, woo, I actually can't wait. Um, anyway, moving on swiftly. Um, I haven't got like a big variety on me because I couldn't pick some, but I've got like telly favourites and stuff like that. So my first one, you know, this may sound look pretty stupid, but it is simple cleansing wipes. Now I use my mum's makeup wipes, which is probably like really bad. You should hate me using them. Anyway, since I've got these, these are like the best. I'm trying not to use them all because, like, I bought them and I don't want to have to buy another pair of packs. Obviously, I will, but I don't want to have to. And these are just like the best. Um, the next one is, which goes with this, it is Girl Online on Tour. This book is amazing. I'm not going to give any spoilers, and I've got a bookmark as well, which I really love. Um, and it's got like little pictures in the back. Um, obviously I'm not going to give any spoilers for you guys who have not read it, although I do advise you to read it. Like, it is the best book ever. It's basically about a love story and a person with anxiety and how she comes to cope with it and how she comes to live in her boyfriend's lifestyle. I really loved this book, like it was the best book ever. I tried not to read it quick, but obviously that didn't work. I read it very quickly, which is a bit of a shame. Um, the next book is obviously Harry Potter and The Order of the Phoenix. I'm reading this now as you can see, like got that much to read. Um, I really love the Harry, I'm really coming to warm to the Harry Potter. Now, I'm not like, I thought I would not like Harry Potter's, but I actually do. I have said this in like other favourites because I've been reading them across months and it's just amazing basically. I love it. Um, my next favourite is Sunflower Morning Gardens. You have obviously seen this if you've been like watching me every single week. Um, and I love this smell. I haven't worn this much on the obviously, as you can tell, but like I love the smell, it's so fresh and nice. I just want to spray it right now. So nice. <coughs> the next smell of favourite is Soap and Glory one. Now this is the one I've been wearing every single day. Not every single day, yeah. And everyone goes, some people go, oh that smells really nice, what are you wearing? And I just say this. And I really do love it. Um, it's so nice smell. Obviously all Soap and Glory products are. And I just love Soap and Glory basically. The next one is, as you may have known from a couple of videos I've been putting up recently, you would have been able to tell that I've been, well I've said a few times about my foundation and I've just finished my Rimmel London BB one which I actually got this earlier this year around I think it was Christmas or my birthday I'm not quite sure because I get confused because they're both so close um, but I think I got it, wait I got it, yeah I got it for Christmas um, and I bought myself a new one and I, I got this and I've just started wearing it in fact I'm wearing it right now I love it because I love obviously like I love this where right, with my last one it went ev like ev literally everywhere with this you can like control how much goes on your hand and the actual foundation itself is really nice it's I love foundation that you don't you can't feel like you're wearing because if you feel like you're wearing makeup then it's just not nice to have on your face it's like having well, I've never had paint, you know like face paint, it's like I feel like when I have a foundation on that you can feel it's like having face paint on which makes obviously is in a weird way 
but I do not like that feeling and with this and the other one I never get that feeling so if I don't get that feeling then that foundation isn't, is amazing and obviously you can like not see any of my pots on it. Anyway moving on to my TV favourites I have just started um, once upon a time I am still watching Pretty Little Liars but like I kind of like lost track of it because I haven't been keeping up with Netflix as it is so kind of like lost what's going on and on season 4 and, and I've tried to watch it I just can't get back into it it's a bit of a shame so I don't know what to do but hopefully I'll carry on watching it I'll update you on that anyway once upon a time is amazing i just love it i'm on season one episode i think it's like five or six now i love it it's like basically about fantasy world and yeah i can't actually explain it it's so hard to explain basically a boy is put in the fantasy world because he's reading a book called once upon a time and it refer he's referring to all the characters to real life and it's just what is just amazing I love it my next favourite is I'm a celebrity get me out of here I love like like every year I love I'm a celebrity get me out of here along with X Factor them two are the best I just love it basically I'm a celebrity I just like love watching reality as you know I'm a big fan of Big Brother and it's kind of like that when the jungle and I love to see how celebrities will survive and it, it's just my kind of thing basically so um yeah that's all I have for you guys today um if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big old thumbs up if yeah and it's nearly Christmas I'm so excited um anyway yeah I will see you next week with another video um, I hope you're all having a lovely day, a lovely evening, a lovely time. I hope you've had a good weekend if you're watching this on the weekend. Um, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.